go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Come in. You copy out there? Over. 10-4. Told you I'm with Joanne. So, come on over. Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. Morning, Sean. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. I get it, you still have to find your home. We were lucky, and old enough, to find ours here. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. 
Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw the kissing the other day. Kind of weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, artists! Come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Thing Claire and Karen have in common <laughs> their love for pancakes. No clue there was a network. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry.
This is such a weird fucking place. <sighs> but that's what's cool about it. All her life possessions are in here. And she seems... Happy with that. Whoa. Hey, Dad. Nyla always knew how to crack me up. Nyla always knew how to crack me up. Prody's so good at describing painful situations. And s yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace.
I could get used to that scenery. I mean, it looks glorious, but... What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out! Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it! That child is... something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel? You ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Now, let's throw on that spider. Sweet. Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. Hey, Be nope. Be careful, nope, Daniel. Nope, no, uh, Don't want you to get let's hurt. Let's take that spider off the pedestal. Watch this. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you... Slam dunk the earth ball onto the base. Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Summon the Spider Queen. See, Sean. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. You got it. Feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. 
Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanna's so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Lurid politics. Yeah, you hate it. All the way down, all the way down. Bad habits turned religious dogmas. Or uh, just a st stupid pile of scrap. Too bad there's nobody my age here. Huh. But this is where people come to get old. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. <laughs> super Wolf to the Silver Runner. Copy, I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret? Ten four. Okay, you're on it, Nano. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So, for the first item, is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside! Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. You're way out there, dude. And I know, what was that last clue? Dude, this is not that hard. I've hidden the item under the building. That loves the wind. Getting closer. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Warm? It's close, Sean. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure.
up too far. Daniel, copy. Give me a clue. Come on. This is so easy. The setting item is where the sun meets the earth. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? I've hidden the item in a place that loves the sun. Dude, you're a snowman. You're way out there, dude. Not too far. Okay. Arr, I'm a shitty pirate, and I'm so done with this quest. Ah, uh, don't give up now. Come on. Hey, I'll give you another hint. The second item is by the solar panels. Mm, okay. I'll keep on hunting. If you go too far, you lose your walkie-talkie signal. That's it. I'm done. Sorry, Inano. You're lost, dude. The sacred treasure is still mine! Mom's truck coming back. Mm. Yes, 100% her. 
Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom! How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast! Whoa! Yes! Thanks, David! <laughs> you wanna play catch, Danny boy? Totally! Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> ...skills. Um... Does that kind of scare you? Me? Goddamn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but... ...he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced now. But. I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <laughs> Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <sighs> okay. Time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. 
That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. <sighs> That's why people come here, from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then.